Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Define random variable. Illustrate random variable. Distinguish between a discrete and a continuous random variable. And find the possible values of a random variable. Let's have a quick review on the basics of statistics and probability. Identify the following. Choose from the word pool below. Number 1 and 2. Aside from decimal, probability may be expressed as these two. So we can express probability as fraction and or as percentage. No particular order. Number 3. The possible outcomes of an experiment is called event. Number four, the set of possible outcomes of an experiment is called sample space. Last one, it tells how often a certain event will happen is probability. Let's have an activity. Guess me right. I have here two groups, discrete and continuous. All you have to do is to guess into which group the phrases that will flash on your screen should go to. Number one, mistakes per page. Where do you think? Is it discrete or continuous? This will go to discrete. Next one, the thickness of a book. This one will go to continuous. Next one. The number of bottled water in a box. Where do you think? This one will go to discrete. Another one, people queuing. Is it discrete or continuous? This is discrete. Next one, your height. What do you think? Is it discrete or continuous? It is continuous. How about this one? The depth of water in the ocean. Is it discrete or continuous? This is also continuous. Last one, the number of words in an essay. Where should it go? It is discrete. Now, from these examples here, how can you define discrete and continuous? Discrete can assume a countable number of values, those values that you can count, while continuous have an infinite continuum of possible values. Imagine a ruler. From 0 to 1, there are many possible values in between. Discrete and continuous leads us to the idea of random variable. It is a variable that assumes numerical values associated with the random outcomes of an experiment, where one and only one numerical value is assigned to each sample point. We first heard of the word variable in algebra. It is a symbol for quantity whose value varies. In random variable, it has the same concept. Only this time, we have to assign values to these outcomes. Also, another definition, it is the result of a chance event that you can measure or count, measurable or countable. Actually, there is another one, categorical, but this time we will focus our discussion on data that is either measurable or countable. Let us recall our previous activity. Which group do you think is countable? It is the discrete group. Yes, you can count the mistakes per page. You can count the number of bottled water in a box. You can count the people who falls in line and the number of words in an essay. While continuous is the measurable group. We measure thickness, we measure the height, the depth of water, among others. Another definition, random variable uses uppercase letters. Examples, for instance, you want to guess if it is going to rain or not tomorrow. So the possible outcomes are it is going to rain or it is not going to rain. But remember, you have to assume numerical values. So we have to assign values to those outcomes. Let us say 
we assign 1 if it is going to rain and 0 if it is not going to rain. This capital letter X here is the random variable. 1 and 0 are the possible outcomes. This is an example of discrete random variable because you can count the possible outcomes. Let's have another one. Random variable y is integers between 0 and 5. So what are the possible outcomes, integers between 0 and 5? Those are 1, 2, 3, 4. When we say integers, these are whole numbers. Between 0 and 5, we cannot count 0 and 5. Those values that are in between only. This is another example of discrete random variable because you can count the number of possible values. Another one, weight in kilogram of a newborn baby. On an average, a newborn baby weighs 2.5 kilograms to 4.5 kilograms. This is an example of continuous random variable. Why? Because there are so many possible values in between 2.5 and 4.5. It could be 2.6. It could be 2.61. It could be 2.658. So there are so many possible outcomes. So this is an example of continuous random variable. Let's have another activity. Add one out. All we have to do is to choose which one does not belong to the group. Number of push-ups you can do in 5 minutes. Number of days in a week you exercise. Amount of calories burned after an exercise. Number of footsteps for a 15-minute walk. So which one does not belong to the group? It is the amount of calories burned after an exercise. Why? Because the number of push-ups, the number of days, and the number of steps are all countable data, while the amount of calories is a measurable data. Another one, how fast can a sneeze spread germs? How long does the virus that causes COVID-19 last on surfaces? Is stay at least one meter distance to avoid contact with droplets? Number of ways a virus may be transmitted. Which one does not belong to this group? It is the number of ways a virus may be transmitted. Because how fast can a sneeze spread germs talks about the length of time. How long does the virus that causes COVID-19 last on surfaces also talks about the length of time? The 1 meter distance is a measurement of length. These three are all measurable. While the number of ways a virus may be transmitted is a countable data. You can transmit the virus by coughing, sneezing, singing, or even speaking. Because you were able to count the number of ways, then this is a countable data. Next one. Time before you receive an email from your colleague. Distance reached by Wi-Fi connection. Length of cable from the server to working station and number of emails sent in a day. Which one does not belong to the group? It is the number of emails sent in a day. Why? Because time is measurable, same as distance and the length of cable from the server to working station. While the number of emails sent in a day is a countable data. Another one, the volume of a gasoline in a Honda Beat motorcycle. The number of motorists that gas up today, the distance traveled with a full tank motorcycle, and the length of time between motorists in a gasoline station. So which one does not belong to the group? It is the number of motorists that gas up today. Because volume, distance, and length of time are all measurable. While this one, number of motorists, this is number of people is a countable data. Last one, I am 150 centimeter tall. 
I weigh 56 kilograms. I have two wonderful sons. My foot measures 9 inches. So which one does not belong to the group? It is, I have two wonderful sons. Because height, weight, and length are measurable data. While I have two wonderful sons, I was able to count. So this is a countable data. This time, let us talk about possible values of random variable. Number one, tossing a coin. Name the random variable T. When you toss a coin, the possible outcomes are head or tail. But remember, random variable should be quantifiable. So we have to assign values. Let us say 0 if head and 1 if tail. So the possible values of our random variable T are 0 and 1. Another one, rolling a die. Let us say the random variable is the number shown on the top face when this die is top rolling. So the die has six faces and each face contains a unique number of dots. Those are one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the possible outcomes of our random variable. Another one, couple plans to have three children. So let us say the random variable is the number of girls the couple may have. So let us list the possible outcomes. It could be girl, boy, boy. So the first child is a girl. The second one is a boy. The third one is also a boy. In here, there is only one girl. Another possible combination is boy, girl, boy. Here, we also have one girl. Another combination is boy, boy, girl. Also one girl. We can also have girl, girl, boy. In here, we have two girls. It could also be boy, girl, girl. Again, two girls. Or girl, girl boy and then girl so here also two girls it could also be girl 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 so here there are three girls or it could be boy 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 so in here no girls so what are the possible values of our random variable in which the random variable is the number of girls the couple may have so, the couple may have one girl, two girls, three girls, or zero girls. So, zero, one, two, and three. For the summary, here are what we discussed in this lesson. Now, it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. <laughs> Let us answer. Tell whether the following is a discrete or continuous random variable. Use letter D for discrete and C for continuous. Number one, the length of time before your class ends. Length of time is continuous. Number two, the number of days you have online class is discrete number three the number of times you were late in class you were late once twice thrice in a week so that is discrete number four the total time of your tardiness in first period class total time length of time is continuous last one the time you spend submitting your asynchronous activity length of time again so continuous gets our next lesson is probability distribution for a discrete random variable